Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create test cases using Test Grid in Team Foundation Server 2013 Web Access. So let's go and do it. This is my server, uh, and I'm going to open Internet Explorer and connect to Team Foundation Server URL. So up here is the URL. So we're going to go ahead and click. And uh, up here is my team project. If you don't have a team project, click on Browse and go to the Collections and select Appropriate project so we're gonna go ahead and select Tech Brothers team and we're gonna go this is the the main page that appears which is the home page of for you and we're gonna go ahead and click on test and you can go ahead and uh, select your test plans from here um, this is uh, the web access test plan right here it says test plans and it has one requirement and no test uh, cases so we're gonna go ahead and actually create uh, if you wanted to create multiple test cases and wanted to do each test case um, uh, and write the steps for each test case in one grid it's possible to do that and in this video we're going to learn that so we're gonna go ahead and this is our uh, test plan again so we're gonna go ahead and click on new we have two options click on new test case and new test case using grid the difference between these two is if you click on new test case that that will allow you to create one test and you have to fill the information of that particular test and then go to the uh, click on new and create another test or you need to add another test and but using the grid you can uh, work on multiple test cases with multiple steps I'm, I'm going to show you how so we're going to go ahead and click on new uh, test cases using grid so this is our first the title up here is our test case title so I'm going to do go ahead and right here check login page and th these are the steps up here that you need to take and each step has expected result click on expected, uh, expected step follow these steps this is my first step and uh, I'm gonna be a little bit funny in here please do follow So that's um, it's, it's just for demo purposes. Obviously, in your organization, you'll, you'll do a much professional job. So um, we're gonna go ahead and create another test case. And test case name is feature action plan feature added should appear on. here on home page so these are the action plans we're gonna go ahead and when you save it it's gonna give you the rest of the steps so you can fill right here uh, click right here and this is the feature we're gonna go ahead and click on um, open login page I always give that option up here see if password auto save save option appears so I'm gonna go ahead and this is how you create multiple test cases I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on save and we're gonna go back to our test cases as you can see right now I have two active test cases and um, I can go ahead and run all these active test cases by clicking here and uh, clicking here I'm sorry and run and it'll run all the test cases or I can just choose one of this test case and uh, click on run let's say that I'm gonna choose this and I'm gonna go ahead and run the uh, that, that particular test 
uh, this has all the steps um, that expected feature and the next is that expected uh, open the login page and you know see if the password save option appears so these are uh, uh, expected results and all that if you don't see any expected results if you see that it's passed you can click up here if you see that it's, it didn't behave the way that you wanted to you can click on up here uh, on X bar and it'll fail it'll show failed and if you wanted to create a bug out of that you can click on this so this is how you um, really use the grid uh, sometimes if you wanted to work um, on multiple t uh, test cases and you have a lot of steps or maybe you wanted to give a high level uh, aspect of all the test cases that needs to be done and later on want to work on the uh, uh, steps you can use um, this option new test case using grid and it's it makes life much more easier if you're if you have the test cases but you don't have really the steps maybe you're waiting for your developers to give you the steps of what you should do in order to ha in order to uh, test your application really good so in this case this is a, a, a perfect situation using uh, web access and using the test case grid and I hope this video helps